Hi everyone, it's Pearl here. So today I'm going to share with you guys um, more or less of the idea on how many cards can fit um, in this Louis Vuitton envelope Carte de Visit uh, card holder. So if you are interested, let's get started. So basically this is just a simple card holder but can hold a tons or a lot of cards. So this is the front and if you watch my unboxing video, I will link that video down below. So basically this is how it looks like. So it's just in the Louis Vuitton website, it only says that it can only fit one slot card here and a gusseted compartment. So basically that's what it says there in the website. So to me, I check and see if how many really can fit inside this envelope. Um, so you can put one over here, one over here, and a lot of cards here. So if you are a card lover, this is actually a perfect um, wallet for you. And I will show you in this video on how many could possibly um, fit in this wallet or card holder. So let's say you have lots of cards. I'll start with this one. Let's say I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's say I have 10 different cards. So I have these cards are already used, so it's just for this idea. I will put everything in like so. That 10 cards inside. It looks like it still have space, but it's actually already compact. Still looks perfect. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing. Just the gusseted. It can hold a lot. Let's close this one. Still looks perfect. As you can see, there's no like deformation of the wallet. It holds very good. Now you have 10. Let's say you want to put more cards. So I'll put my card one over here and then another slot, another one over here. Now I have 12 cards, 10 here and then two other here. So I have two and then let's see and close this wallet. As you can see, you can tell that the wallet started to look like bulging. The upper flap lifted quite a bit. Let's say open this up and then we will apply your key fob here. Now you have 13 cards all in all, so 10 here, plus 2 here, and 1 key fob. Now let's close it up. So this is how it looks like now. So you can see the upper flap has suddenly heightened, as you can see here. Okay, so this is the front. This is the side, side, the back, it looks perfect. As you can see, the side of uh, the wallet or the card holder is starting to, I don't know, deform. This flap thing started to rise up. So for me, that's how many it can fit. If we want to maximize the space to the fullest, I think we can do so. So if you really want to stretch this wallet, it can hold for me 13, 15 here. Let's give it a try and let's do it one by one. It's starting to feel that the cards can't move.
You think it can fit? I don't know. Let's see. Yes, it can! I am still curious what if we wanted to add more. So, the last card is not seated well on the bottom. It is just a little higher than the other cards. I think we already reached the maximum space possible. Now we will stop here on the 12th. and use this one here on the other flap. Let's see if we will have problem closing it. It closed. Quality it is. It can fit and hold the card adequately, no problem, but zero accessibility, you know what I mean? If you wanted to get a card you want because they're too tight, the only way you can find the card you want to use is to take all of it out from the gasseted compartment. That's the only way or solution I see. Now I am going to share and show you my own personal preferences. I always have my two regular cards here, then my driver's license together with my health card, and lastly my emergency cash, $20 and another $50, just this is all I need in my everyday card. I have a little tip if you're interested in using card holder or compact wallet in the future. Maybe you are in doubt or you are in the middle of transitioning from big to small wallet and you are unsure where to start. Um, my suggestion would be just be efficient. Only keep cards you need every day. If you want to use your gift card, bring only what you need for that day. So. I have this practice that if I know I will be using a gift card, I intentionally use that up. That way I know that I spent every penny before I lost a card or worse, I accidentally throw it away. For me, better off finish it up and let the store keep it for recycling. Maybe they have the best recycling solution for that, who knows. Anyways, that's my other way on how I dealt with gift cards. Let me know yours in the comment box below. When it comes to membership card, I don't I don't bring them every day, but when it comes to this kind of cards, my suggestion is to utilize your phone if you can get an app for a certain store that proves you are part of the membership. I don't see why not do that. In my experience, mostly the store system here usually either will ask your phone number or email and if your name pop up in their computer, you are entitled with your rewards and stuff without even having the physical card. Other than carrying all those cards daily, eating up your space and adding weight. So far in my own experience, using a card holder helps me remove any unnecessary cards and prioritize the essentials. Like, less is more. At the end of the day, it is your choice. Get or buy a wallet that suits your needs and lifestyle. I hope you find this video informative. So that's basically it for today's video. I hope to see you on my next. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you!